Hello, I'm Delusion Dispeller to talk to you here to talk to you more about the behaviors of the narcissist. A narcissist will often throw a childish temper tantrum when you dare to question them or not do what they want you to do. They have totally childish reactions when things don't go their way. People leave or confront them. The narcissist is often known to scream and yell and have a fit about it and claim that you never loved them before and that you're like all the others everybody leaves them you're no different etc um if you disobey them and you don't do what they want you to do they will call you names they will put you down they will threaten you um they can threaten to harm you to even take your life it just depends on the level of narcissism that they're experiencing or the narcissistic rage that they're going through because everybody has different ways that they handle things and personality can sometimes figure into it too but the, the point is they will go through childish temper tantrums narcissists are very careless during crises somebody dies close to you and you try to talk to your narcissistic friend about it you will get an attitude of basically not really caring how you feel not being able to relate to your grief they feel that you're exaggerating that you're wimpy or you're weak because you're crying and you're upset um they'll tell you things like well they were old and you know they were dying anyway so what did you expect did you think they were going to live forever nobody lives forever what's the matter with you don't cry over it you're going to get your good dress you know full of tears and dirt and whatever I mean they just say mean tactless rude non caring comments when you need them the most um, they'll have a serve them right type attitude you know well she died of lupus I told her she should have seen my doctor but she didn't listen um, somebody gets hurt well they should have listened to me maybe at what next time I tell them that they shouldn't try to lift something so heavy they won't lift it and they won't throw their back out it serves them right that they ended up at the chiropractor and the doctor. Serves them right that they're in traction now because they walked across that place that I told them not to go in. I mean, it's endless. It's all that serves them right. They deserved it. They got what was coming to them. People like them just don't listen. I'm just rude, nasty, tactless, cruel things. Um, somebody dies, they may say something like, Well, so and so died. I hope she put me in her will. I hope she gave me that big. Uh, cabinet that I told her I wanted um that those expensive chairs I hope she saved them for me because she told me she would while you're sitting there you know going why is this person not devastated this was like their best friend why do they care about their chairs or their table or their bureau or whatever they're fighting over but that's a narcissist that's what they do um if somebody gets hurt they may minimize it oh it's just a little cut it's just a little bruise Quit being such a baby. What are you crying about? Or they'll even threaten, I'll give you something to cry about. Um, you're embarrassing me. You know, sit up like a lady. Cross your feet. Make sure you don't show people that you're upset. Nobody wants to hear all that. Nobody has time for that. That's narcissistic. Um, a narcissist tries to hide the damage that they did. They like to kind of ignore when they've hurt somebody so they don't out and out feel a lot of remorse about it um they'll justify it like oh it wasn't all that bad or it didn't happen that way or you're exaggerating oh you're not really telling it the way it was and and you'll like once again question yourself well maybe they're right maybe i am exaggerating maybe that's not quite how it went and you'll start questioning yourself and doubting yourself um Narcissists can be very unreasonably jealous and envious of people. Uh, they feel that you're with them, you are their friend, um, you don't need to be spending time with other people, you have me. Um, let's see. Yeah, pretty much that. You, you have me, you don't need anybody else, you don't need those friends. Why do you spend some, so much time with them and not with me? Even if you spend most of your time with them, they'll still say that you don't spend enough with a narcissist nothing's ever enough and that's the key point with them you will feel like no matter what you do it's never good enough it's never enough it's never enough time 
it's never long enough, it's never the way they want it. You'll always feel like this feeling of falling short, like you just can't make it. You can't achieve what it is they want from you. Because you can't, really. Um, because they're like bottomless pits. They don't even half the time know what they want from you. They just know there's this inner gnawing inside of them. There's something missing and something more. And something you can give them. Or if not you, then there's somebody else out there that can. And then you get devalued and discarded and replaced. They can often threaten to harm you, steal your items, uh, ruin your items, if you don't do what they want you to do. They can be very charming. They're very good at wooing you. They know what you want to hear, and they know how to say it in a way that intrigues you and delights you, impresses you, and draws you to them. Um, stay tuned. I got some more after this. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Talk to you in a bit.